Turns out not all woodworking tools from China have to be crap. I have some really good ones, but I also have some really, really bad ones, and I'm gonna show them to you. Let's go. As much as I would love all of my tools to say woodpeckers on them or be the utmost quality made in America or made in wherever. Just quality, quality all the way. In reality, the only woodpeckers tool I have is that one, a little scraper. It's pretty handy, but it wasn't real expensive. And unfortunately, that's the only woodpeckers tool I got. So I have lots of other made in America and also made in Japan squares and tools that I use all the time that are fantastic. They're great, great, great. I use them every day. But sometimes when I see ads for something that's on Facebook, on Instagram, on whatever platform you might see them on, I'm like, damn, that's a pretty good deal. That's a good deal. That looks like a great tool. Let's order it and see what happens. That's what I did. And it turns out some of them were pretty damn good, including this one, this one, these, this one's total shit. First, we'll talk about the good. Let's talk squares. This little square, which I'm pretty sure is a vagrant ripoff of a woodpecker square, but triangle, square, one of those shapes. I think this came from banggood.com. It was like 15 bucks, right? What could you expect for 15 bucks? I've had this thing for a couple of years. This thing is fantastic. I don't use any of these markings on here because they're millimeters and fortunately I'm in America. We don't use millimeters very often, but it's very good quality. I have checked the square with my very high in precision square that I know is perfectly square. And it draws 90 degree lines. That is what it's for. It's right on 90. It's very useful. It's medium size, so it doesn't have, it's not a giant one and not a little tiny one. Perfect for a lot of things with tool setup and marking because it has a little saddle thing on the edge for referencing up against the side of things. Draw straight lines. That's what you want out of this thing and it works great. Number two is this little blue fella right here. This thing is super handy for, of course, drawing 90 degree lines. But the thing I use it the most for is its intended purpose. If you have a board that you need to mark on the face and the side, you can do that all in one swipe as opposed to a traditional square where you gotta mark the line and then you gotta hold this up there and kinda eye it and hope the hell you get right on the mark, which nine times out of 10, I always, don't do that. So, these, well, good thing that's tough. These things are perfect for that. And of course they will also mark 45 degree lines if you need to do such things, but very simple. It's a chunk of aluminum. I got this about the same time I got that square, super cheap. I wanna say this is 15 or 20 bucks. I use it all the time and it's super accurate. It's very handy to have around. Moving on. So before we get to my favorite tool that I got from the China, I'm gonna show you the one that is the absolute biggest joke piece of shit tool I've seen ever in an ad. Whoever made the video for this ad on Facebook that forced me to click on it and pay my money for, I like to drag out in an alley and slap the hell out of them. There's a slap for you! Slap, slap, slap! This is a joke. So bad that I wanted to show it on video because it's so bad that it's funny. I was scrolling around on the internet one day, as one does, and I come across this video that is actually video from Woodpecker's website showing their Posi Lock T-Square. Unfortunately, that tool was retired in November of 2022. So as I'm scrolling around, I find this beauty in an ad. And it was the exact photos, video of everything of the Posi Lock T-Square. They ripped off all their marketing and it said it was $23.95. Hot damn, I ordered one because how bad could it have been? If it was even remotely close to the woodpeckers, uh, like in this type of fashion, as far as quality goes, nice aluminum and whatnot, not perfect anodizing, but hey, I would have been just fine with it. But oh no, this is what we got in the mail right here. Look at this bad boy. So this came exactly like this. It was inside of another cardboard sleeve with the, the packing label on it. I opened this up and Look at this beauty here, right? Okay. So you look at the Posi Lock T-Square and it has all kinds of indents here. This part here is solid aluminum. This is nice stainless steel, uh, very nice quality and whatnot. Well, this is what the hell I got, okay? For one, 
I left the plastic on it for you, okay? I wanted to keep this thing cherry. I'm scared to use it because I might mess the damn thing up. So here we are. You had to assemble it, right? Because of course you do. Why wouldn't you have to assemble it? I can understand for shipping purposes. So this part has these ball detents in it that are supposed to ratchet onto here and get accurate readings. Well, for one, that's not aluminum. That's plastic. And not only is it plastic, it's hollow plastic, total fucking total garbage. So then I look at the ruler, I'm like, well, that's not too bad. Um, you can kind of read the readings on it, but the back of it feels like a cheese grater. Oh yeah. Oh, that smells good. What man? This is good cheese. You're like, it's not actually sharp. I don't think it would cut you, but it feels, oh, it's terrible because however they punched this out or whatever, they did not clean it up afterwards and it's absolute freaking garbage. I mean, look at that, like, you can hear that's just hollow plastic. This is the only thing that's even halfway decent. It's bent a little in the middle. I might've just bent it some more. I, I don't care. I've been holding on to this thing for a while because I did not know what to do with it. So like the posi lock square has a little thumb screw on here that you loosen and then it ratchets on these little ball bearings. Well, this has these little chintzy brass inserts on here that you're supposed to register. The, does that look like that registers at all? No, it doesn't register at all. It's total sh Let's tighten it down on 90 degrees, shall we? All right, put that on 90 degrees and then you're supposed to be able to put that up on a board and draw your line. And then it's at 90, de blah, 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 90 degrees, right? Well, we take a square that we know is accurate, hold it up to that line. Does that look like that line's 90 degrees? No, that line's not 90 degrees. It's probably 87 or something. Complete garbage. This thing is a joke. Let's try to move on to something that I actually am satisfied with. It's definitely not this. So let's move on to something a little more positive. And that is the most recent purchase of a Chinese woodworking tool that I received. And it's right here in this box. And this thing, I was surprised at the exact opposite way that I was surprised at this gym. Okay, these things are nice. Yes, they are probably a direct ripoff of the woodpecker's version, but damn it, I can't pull the trigger on these things because they're super expensive if you buy the name brand ones. These things are fantastic. Come here and take a look. So these are like the Paolini pocket rules from woodpeckers, but these are Violet Fox, I think was the brand. I got turned on to this particular brand from 731 Woodworks. He did a review on these, which he always does fantastic reviews, but I had to pick up a set because I've been wanting to try a Chinese version of these just to see if they were any good. And oh man, was I pleasantly surprised. The, an the anodizing is fantastic. The etching is very clear and easy to read. It's very smooth. The corners have all been eased over. The, the gliding and whatnot up and down is very nice. The thumb knobs, very nice locking. Like you don't have to crank down on them and it's locked very well. You get this entire set, this entire set, six, 12 and eight inch. And unlike a lot of tools that, that come from the China, most of the ones that I get only have millimeter markings on them because that's what they use in all parts of the world besides here. This one has inches on both sides, top and bottom, even has an in scale with the inches. It does have millimeters on one side, which, hey, you know what, that's handy. The other handy thing is you put this on, say you're gonna put this on three inches, you can put your pencil right here in the end that registers on that mark and draw your line if you're drawing your line up along a board. I mean, look at this, three inches, slide that right there, do that super nice. If you do that with a regular square, say we're using this square, sometimes your pencil can get a little wonky on here and when you're drawing, you can kind of slip off, at least me. Maybe I'm just shaky and can't hold the damn thing right. But you know what? These things fix all that. And did I need all three of these? No, I didn't need all three of these, but this entire set was 25 bucks. 25 bucks for all three of them. In comparison, I'll put on the screen what the name brand ones cost because it's kind of shocking. These are really fantastic and I know I'm gonna put them in my tool belt 
and use them every day because they're that good. I like them. So I want to give you guys my input on some of the woodworking tools that I bought from China and in America, and they both can be great. Not always. You do have to watch out for the scams. I've been scammed plenty of times. Case in point right here. But out of all the things that I bought, about 90% of the stuff that I get is actually very good quality. These are fantastic quality. These other tools over here are fantastic quality. You know what? My iPhone, it's fantastic quality and it's made in China. So it doesn't always have to be bad. I support things that are made in America a thousand percent, of course. Absolutely love those things. But if your budget doesn't always allow that, there's other options that can be really, really good and very handy and help you out in your shop a lot because I know these will. Thanks for watching. Come back soon. You might just find another video that you liked as much as you do this one.